feast your eyes on the class of 1978. Man, it, what, what, a, what a year to be a motocrosser. I was 13 years old at the time. My brother bought one of these from Bird Ives Honda, and I'll never forget the day he got it. We really, he, I was on my little TM100, and he was wheeling down the railroad track, and it was like, he might as well have been on a spaceship. This was so much better than anything else that had existed previously to this. And it was the only year in the history of Honda's motocross, 1977, the year before, they didn't have a 250. And the reason why is they were working on this right here. And this is very close to what the factory racer was in 1977. This thing dominated motocross, supercross, off-road racing. And for many, many moons after that, was still competitive in multiple types of off-road racing. This one is absolutely freaking gorgeous. And it sounds wicked. It handles incredibly well. And it's just been completely gone through here by the staff at Captain Cycles. We'll start at the front. Brand new front tire and tube. Front brakes have been rebuilt. The forks have been polished. It's got new fork boots on it. It's got a new front brake cable, new front brakes, new front brake lever and perch, and a brand new VMX. These are very expensive. Look them up online. VMX plastics. No, no corners cut on the plastics. VMX front fender, front number plate side number plates and rear fender and they're just absolutely freaking gorgeous new graphics and the original aluminum tank has been professionally painted and it's absolutely freaking gorgeous inside and out the cap the vent tube the triple clamps have all been repainted you can see the frame has been repainted the vin numbers still visible uh, that was taped off before it was painted uh, the engine's been rebuilt uh, new top end all new hardware, you can see all the hardware is new on it, the paint's new on it, the, the plug, NG, new NGK plug cap and plug, uh, new intake uh, boots, and the carbs been completely rebuilt and restored inside and out, jetted and tuned, new twin air filter, um, engine cases are been repainted, they look just beautiful, you can see all the new hardware on there. The original factory pegs are super straight, uh, the original um, brake lever is super straight, all of the running gear is in excellent condition on this bike, um, the chain, if you look closely, the, the uh, gold chain is brand new. Um, the uh, rear tire has is, is been replaced new with new tube. The rear brakes have been serviced. It has a brand new DG silencer. We, I just ordered that from DG. They still make them for it. Can you imagine that? Why? Because they're super popular. But it sounds wicked. This DG silencer sounds absolutely fantastic. Um, I think this might be the original seat cover. I'm not sure it came to us with this seat cover. Beautiful bike. This shifter right here is the original factory shift lifter from 78. It's a one year only shift lever. This one's been polished by Carlos. It looks absolutely beautiful. You can see all the hardware on the engine was replaced when the engine was, was dismantled. The, the, uh, all of the Allen rent bolts that hold the clutch cover around. Kicker's in beautiful shape. Uh, the peg's in beautiful shape. New intake boot. You can see the new gaskets on the intake boot. Um, all the new hardware, the, the, uh, the uh, cylinder studs, the head studs, no broken fins, just a beautiful piece. And I always recommend checking out the frame rails. No dings on the left, the frame rail, the right frame rail's got a few dings in it, but um, th these are in, in, in very good condition uh, compared to what I normally see. They're normally all smashed in up here, and we wouldn't have done this much work on it if the frame rails were toast. Uh, they're, they're good use, original frame rails, original swing arms good, original shocks look good. Just a cool classic that's ready to ride vintage motocross. Uh, still has the original 1978. It was, it was born December of 77, which was what? Uh, 89, 18. That was what, 46 years ago? So um, yeah, in, in four years, it, it, it'll be 50 years. Jesus, we're getting old. Uh, Still has the original HM430 factory exhaust. I, I can't believe I didn't mention this yet, but take take a look at this exhaust, guys. Um, Junior and uh, Jimmy and the guys in the shop were like, dude, I think it's an NOS exhaust because there's no there's no dents in it. Um, it's in remarkably good condition. Uh, that's a hallmark of, of a bike that wasn't hammered off-road. You just very, very rarely will find one with an original pipe on it. Look at the bottom of this ride. There's not a single thing in this pipe. Any do you see any dings? Oh, sir. I don't feel any dings. My hands can see, feel things that my eyes can't see. It's a, a perfectly straight, original HM430 exhaust. Um, maybe one little ding right here. I don't know if that's a ding or a factory wall. I'm not really sure. Uh, beautiful piece. If you're looking for a classic 78 CR250 to take to the armor races while well, your ship just came in. Brand new set of Pro Taper bars. Brand new Honda crossbar pad, 
brand new Ori grips, brand new clutch lever, clutch cable, brand new front brake lever, front brake cable, front brake perch, new Ori throttle grip, a whole new gunner gasker, whirlpool throttle. These are the, the mid high bars. Really like the way this one runs. Really like, like the way this one feels. Um, I think you'd be real happy with it. And it's a bike you can take to the track today or roll it in the museum where that's where it's going right now. So um, it's not perfect. Um, it, you know, it was previously ridden and uh, you know, it's cosmetically, um, it, but there's a little bit of little bit of little, little lumpiness on the seat. I think, like I said, I think it's original seat foam and, and seat cover. A couple little beauty marks on the side of the seat. Uh, I don't know what else to say uh, negative about it because I'd like to disclose anything I, I see wrong with the bike. But uh, other than that, I don't really see much wrong with this. This thing's I'm, I'm really thrilled with with the run, the way it runs and the way it rides. It's like a flashback time capsule to 1978, and uh, still have the Technicolor memories of my brother ripping. ripping at Lanesboro, my older brother raced. Here's let me, on the, the 250 amateur class racing against Moto Mike Brumber. If you're, if you're a New England racer, you know who Moto Mike was. And uh, he was always, my brother was always in the top five on his 250. And those guys used to freaking rip on the straightaways on these things. They were so fast. Kick ass machine, the 250 RL Sonar. When we had it in, up on the bench, we did the compression test. It's 170 PSI. This motor is rock solid. And, uh, will Willie all the way up the driveway first second third and fourth gear we also put new chain rollers on it in addition to the new chain she's ready to go bit high and bit off and if you want this classic under your tree it's only six weeks to Christmas thanks for watching and God bless America